Here we are, it is day four, Gainesville, Florida of Sick Week. Look, we have been trucking along, making it. We've got a little bit of vibrational noise that I'm gonna check out on the truck today, but I don't wanna get crazy on trying to fix too many things or upgrade or, or go wild, because right now it's just carrying us through the week and we're so close to the end of the week that all we gotta do is finish. A lot of these guys are having way worse problems than us, you know, motors, trains, uh, rear ends, everything blowing up, not being able to make it. We're seeing cars leave on trailers, but the track here at Gainesville is super, super sticky. They are doing very well, and a lot of guys making a lot of great passes. So today, hopefully a lot of good action, more interviews. Apparently we're driving down the beach, the coastline, to the next checkpoints today, so it's gonna be some beautiful scenery. Let's get after it. Well, I tell you what, it runs mint this morning. I killed it, did not smooth the fuel table. But I'll tell you what, I made a sick pass. Lifted at the thousand foot and still went 12. Where'd I go there? For a row. At 90 miles an hour. Lifted at the thousand foot. Okay. Just took my foot dead ass out of it. I would have could have went low 11s on that pass. And I left it in drive. Didn't do first, so second, it, third. What? You didn't do first, second, third? Nope. Just straight drive. I left it in drive. It shifted at like 4,000 if that. And it just, and then I lifted at the thousand and went 12 off. What, are you guys done for the day? I cannot, yes. Yeah. I mean, I might make another run later. Yeah, they, just, to, just to play, but I'm pretty, I'm going to probably turn this in. Yeah, it is. It's in the middle of everything else I ran. Yeah. And then, um, I did buy plugs last night. Yeah. I could not find an O2. Nobody stocks it. I got another one. What? Another one of those. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I might buy another one from Summit. And I did keep an eye on it on the road all night last night, but it was ran horrible last night. So how are you guys doing? We're good. This thing sounds good, man. It's we're getting a weird vibration. Hey, listen in the drive line. Yeah. So, um, it's just check the dry shaft. Well, I'm gonna check the drive shaft. I want to make sure because I know that the guy had swapped the motor or yeah. had it rebuilt. So I want to go look at the converter bolts and yep. make sure they're all Yo, great. If you need any tools, my truck is my my trail is loaded. Yeah, if we got a little right. tool kit that's got oh, what we I'm need. I'm just saying, if yeah. you need anything, you yeah, know right. you know my trip. That's right. Yo, oh, bro. matter of fact, look, bro. Look, look, look. Yo, it's ready for you, bro. Huh. Courtesy you, of oh, you robbed the hotel. The Airbnb, yeah. Yo, did did you put did you put the ski mask on when you got yeah. here or what? Did you use the nine millimeter? No, we had they had a whole thing of them. I was like, you know who probably likes some coffee? Yeah, Dude. man. Were you were you screaming, I'm on the run, the cops <laughs> got my gun. No, but I did make an illegal U-turn in front of a cop last night. Like the oh, light yeah. was pure red and I yeah. didn't even stop yeah. it. You turn in it like he didn't even look at it. So, Damn right. Get some footage, bro. The track is killer. Oh, I don't doubt it.
All right, so I was walking by and I noticed, first I noticed the cage, and this thing looks really clean and deceptive, and then I noticed a twin turbo big block under the hood. It's actually a Oldsmobile 442. Okay. Uh, still an A body, but okay. uh, 65. Um, it's got a big block Chevy, 516 cubic inch, twin, twin 88s. Twin 88s, nice. Uh, turbo 400. And, Best it spends a 750 at 187. Haven't been able to do that this week. Gotcha. Kinda been knocking the tires off about every track, but um, it's all right. We're having fun, making the drive. So right, making it happen. So haven't had a whole lot of luck this week, but have you had a whole lot of breakages, issues, anything? No, Has it been pretty no. smooth? Drives have been smooth and good, but just at the track, I just haven't got any good ETs. Have, are you running radials or slicks? Yeah, radials. Radials. Gotcha. What's been uh, what's been some of your favorite parts of this week so far? Uh, camaraderie, always at drag and drive. This is my 14th drag and drive, so uh, of course it's snowing back home. So <laughs> yeah. the weather's what I'm loving right now. Exactly. <laughs> so how, how did you end up with this car? Is this something you've had a long time, or? Um, actually, I got this in 2010. I kind of collect those mobiles. I got 26 442s from okay. 64 to 72. Uh, most of them are stock, original stuff. I've got a 65 wagon that's kind of the twin to this, but it's a uh, um, got a small or a LS supercharged. I take that on race week a lot. Gotcha. So what? All right, now I gotta know which one do you like better, the big block or the LS? Big block. <laughs> yeah, I can't be mad at that. 16 injectors, 500 yeah. plus cubic inch. Awesome. And uh, is this one? So this one you're doing sick week. The other one you do more of the other kind of weeks with? Yeah, I haven't. Uh, I think I won 2018 Rocky Mountain Race Week with this, and then we've done the wagon. Just gets so hot. You know, yeah some of those through kansas and nebraska and my wagon has air and cruise and oh nice but so all the all the creature comforts yep. so are you guys are you making another pass today or no nope, we're done we you're just done? switch back over to the street mode and awesome. hit the road well look we will see you at the next checkpoint right, this is an awesome car and uh thanks for sharing it with us thank bud. you appreciate it
All right, so I've been noticing this thing all week long. Yeah. It's probably one of the nicest <laughs> cars, I would say, here. I mean, just very clean, beautiful Trans Am. And Tell us a little that. bit about it. What's the motor trans set up? So the motor is a stock block. Uh, it's a 400 Pontiac block. It's about 461 cubic inch with Edelbrock heads that are uh, CNC machine. Crower billet crank that's older than dirt. And it's <laughs> been through many bracket cars through the years. And we're just sending it in this thing. And it's doing great. Yeah. The intake I built for it, I did all the fabrication front to back on gotcha. this car. The transmission's a 4080 actually. And uh, that thing actually works pretty good. No it, apparently this car likes the 480 better than a 400. <laughs> Really? We've tried both. It just likes the weight. Oh, okay. And we, we think that the uh, the converter that we had built for the 480 is just a little bit better suited for the car. Uh, what size have the turbos hanging off from that thing? They are BS Racing 78 millimeter billet turbos. Okay, 78, 75s? Yes. Yeah. Yep. They're nothing special. Right, just off just, the shelf, regular yep. BS stuff. I yep. love how you did the exhaust out the vents. Yeah, like, that's, that's literally been a dream of mine for a long time. I, I've had this car built in my head for years. Right. <laughs> so. And then what, did you do, had to do some roadside repair or something? I see the little on the intake is kind of jacked up. Yeah, so uh, pretty sure it's just fatigue fractures because uh, we haven't had any issues of overboost or backfiring or anything. Right. But uh, Monday morning, actually, after my first pass, I found the passenger side was split open. Okay. Was, there was actually a fairly big gap, so I welded that at the track. Okay. And yesterday, my third pass, the car nosed over, so I searched the car for any boost leaks, and the only thing I noticed was the small crack on the driver's side. Okay. So, and we found my issue was I ran out of CO2. That's why it oh, okay. killed itself. So, Pontiac motor, I mean, pretty like Fair. off the wall yes. oddball i mean you look at the heads the way the exhaust comes off you're like yeah. what the hell is yeah, going it's, on it's different than anything else that's out there but what what kind of ets have you guys been running uh the car the car's personal best is an 850. okay uh this week i have got a best of 855. okay but i need to i need to keep it closer to an 861 is what i turned in on monday so okay. i have to actually slow it down to you got to get it back a little bit yeah, yeah. Uh, so, what's what's been uh, some of your challenges or you know some of your favorite moments on sick week so far uh challenges would be obviously the intake yeah. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for challenges uh we've we've had pretty smooth sailing uh my favorite things is the publicity like, everyone loves this car I, i've already gotten uh photo shoots with sick the mag i've gotten yeah. interviews a whole bunch of other stuff it is because it's it's a beautiful car and it's very well built and it's got that rarity too to Pontiac yeah. like yeah it's it's a it's a one one of a kind definitely is for this event absolutely do you do a lot of uh, drag and drives or is this the first one with it or uh, so this we built this car specifically for drag week okay uh, we were building it for the 2020 drag week but that got canceled so we took a break built it finished it uh, for the 21 drag week but it was just uh, black primer. Okay. Uh, we went there and I had a lifter failure the second day. Gotcha. So it took us out. Um, and then 22, I had the car in in light race mode. I wanted to try to go fast and it just didn't, it wasn't didn't happen. So then my parents did sick week last year. Okay. And they loved it. So they were able to talk me into doing it this year. So we got the car back in the street trim to do this and here we are awesome well look man this is one beautiful piece and you have done a lot of incredible work on it. i mean <laughs> just you. the attention to detail on this thing is oh, yeah. next level so yeah, i've been i've been dreaming this up for probably five years yeah i've had this stuff in my head so well it came out very well so <laughs> look best of luck right. to you are you done yeah. for the day yeah You're we're all done hooked for the day up? we're about to hit the road here soon gotcha so then we'll see you tomorrow in orlando and hopefully I hate to say slow it down because I'm going to kind of like, let's I turn know. it up. But Well, if I make a good pass first thing tomorrow and I'm able to turn a slip in, we're going to turn it up and see if I can get a new PB. Awesome. So, that's well, the plan. Looking forward to that, brother. <laughs> we'll catch you tomorrow. All right. Thank you.
So we're here with the man himself, Brian, aka Mr. Trailer Burnout King, <laughs> aka Mr. Chevette. Tell us a little bit about the Chevette and the setup. Uh, 1977 Chevy Chevette. Uh, it's a kind of a old square tube chassis. Right. Want to be race car uh, that we put a whole bunch of extra parts on. Um, power windows, all glass, uh, 416 LS, four inch stroke. A little bit of nitrous on it. I'm trying to. Get it to go fast on a little shot versus a big shot. Right. Uh, we went nine. I think we went a 919, 914, no 915 yesterday. Right. On like a 200 shot. So we've been 890s in the quarter and 550s in the eight. So. No oh, shit. We got some new shocks and radials on it. And we're we're going at it a little bit more aggressive. As far as the, the showstopper stuff, but right. We'll be good. We should be good. But uh, we run uh, Ultimate Iron. Normally, okay. and then for sick week they do an unlimited ultimate iron, and it allows some fiberglass pieces in the class. So gotcha. we're sort of a really dull knife to a gunfight. Uh, gotcha. You got to weigh 3,000 pounds. So normally we tip the scales at 3,050, 3,030. Right. Here today we were 3,005 for some reason. The scale might be a little light. <laughs> yeah. Probably should have weighed before it went up. Put, put some extra gas in. Yeah. Be all right. Yeah. It's been a good week. You've been averaging pretty well, low in yeah, the nines. Yeah. Uh, and tomorrow, your your goal is to turn it up and, oh, and see yeah, if it'll yeah. let I it. I came eat. here to run 860. So. Gotcha. Yeah, we're we're gonna at least uh, put it on the bumper. We're gonna run 860s. One one of the two is gonna happen. Does anybody on Sick Week or any Drag and Drive do more trailer burnouts than you? That is very controversial. There's <laughs> there's a lot. Uh, my sidekick John Mancini, or however you pronounce his last name. Right. Normally when we go out and if you see the black Camaro and the Chevette together. We're, we're known for double side-by-side -side burnouts, and that's, you don't get any better than that. But me and him, will definitely go through a set of tires every week. Yeah, you're already out of Yeah, uh, we're out of tread. tread. Yeah. Awesome. The high gear, we, we stab it in the high gear, and it's 166 grand, so, <laughs> with 350 gear, so. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it don't take long to get them smoking. Damn right. Well, look, brother, good luck on the rest of the week, Thank and you. we will see you tomorrow. Hopefully you, you get it turned up and rocking and rolling. Absolutely. <laughs> What's going on, bud? Hey, how are you? Good, how you doing? Good, thanks. Beautiful car, I love this thing. Yeah, I've had it since 85. Bought it from a buddy from high school. He had it in high school, I said, you want to sell, let me know. Right. Called me up two years later, got it, and it's just been upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Guys, yeah, so was it like, you know, kind of race car-ish to start, or was it all just stock? Just stock, it was pretty beat. Yeah. 
quarter door. It's all primer. Right. But not anymore. Yeah, because I noticed the purple paint, like not a normal color yeah, it's choice. A custom color. Yeah. Yeah. I did all that. I did all that. Everything in the garage, painted it, and everything at home. No kidding. And then Pro Charge small block. Yeah. What kind of trains? Turbo 400. Turbo 400. Absolutely. With a gear vendor. Okay. I put that in there. Got to get that Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Getting that gas mileage. Yep. What uh, what kind of ETs you've been running this week? 10 L class. 10 L. Nice. Probably a lot of fun. The best one this week was a 1008. So good air. Gotcha. Good air day. Now is that just because you're cage limited, or can you go faster? Cage limited to 10. So what's been the best ET? Best yeah. ET at this point. The trans was going bad, so I'm not sure. But the best was a 985. Okay. Cecil County in Pennsylvania. Okay. Where are you from? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Okay, I'm up in Delaware. Yeah. No, Cecil's in Maryland. Maryland. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm up in Delaware, so that's a little okay. to me. Okay. You're on a corner. Yep. Awesome. Well, good luck, brother. Right. Are you packing up to get out of here? Or? Yeah, man. One and done. One and done. That's the name of the game. Got it. All right. We'll see you at the next you have one. Have a good day. You got it. <laughs>
right, so I'm under the C10 because recently here we've been experiencing a little bit of vibration noise that I haven't been able to quite figure out yet. It's intermittent uh, through an RPM range and acceleration. Kind of sounded like it was coming from the front passenger side corner of the truck, but maybe trans tunnel area, whatever. I'm just checking because I know that this motor has been in and out. So looking at the converter bolts, they're tight. I'm going to slide up here and check the U-joints on the drive shaft to make sure we're not having any issue there. I don't see anything other than being an old rusted truck that's too out of place that would kind of cause the noise that we're hearing. But we got to keep up on it. We got to make sure we are Thursday. We've got one more day to go Friday. We've got one uh, drive today that might end up being pretty long for one reason or another. So I just want to make sure before we hit the road that I've at least looked at stuff and tried to identify a problem. But I don't see nothing yet, so we'll find out. Yep, and right now, U joints look fine. I'm not getting any play out of them. So I don't think U joints are the issue. On to the next challenge. I'm gonna try to show you guys this that I found that I'm not super happy about. I don't think it's the end of the world but there is a, a decent amount of play up here in the trans on the output just you know up and down i guess side to side but up and down you can see it pretty well it's not huge um, i'm not sure that that's what's making our noise i haven't tracked down the noise yet this is really just trying to be preventative of we're hearing something we don't know what it is we don't want it to screw us while we're going down the road all right we're heading down the highway we've got three checkpoints to get to today of course, I told Brandon, bust out the camera because it's making that noise. Now it's not. It's a weird, like either something's vibrating and hitting or I'm not quite sure. I'll try to catch the sound on camera for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, because it's it's intermittent. I don't know. It may not be any big deal, but it might screw us later. Who knows? Now we've got quite a way to go. Three different checkpoints. We're going to take some sick rolling shots and keep on heading on to our final day. Tomorrow will be day five of sick week. This old girl has done pretty good so far. We might have to treat her right when we get home. There's that noise. All right, so we made it to checkpoint one for the day. Ice cream. I wanted to get some ice cream, but they got a 28 person long line. I can't imagine why. So the parking lot's kind of turned into a nice little car show here. I know at some point we're gonna be cruising down the beach, so I don't wanna hang out here too long because I wanna get down to the beach. Once again, we're having some issues. We've got ice on the intake. I've been holding the ice on the fuel line. We don't have a fix for it at the exact moment where we're so close to the end that we're just pushing through. A $2 bag of ice will get it done. All right, so we didn't stop at checkpoint two. I mean, we did stop, we went through the parking lot, but it was a mess through that parking lot and we just were not hanging out for very long. But we made a pit stop up here because I think up the road we can drive on the beach. So me and some random C10 and some really random Honda wagon, I guess they're gonna go do a photo shoot out on the beach. Hopefully, if they'll let us drive on it, which I think everything we've looked up says we can. So let's go do that. Well, unfortunately, the beach access ramp is closed, but that's not gonna stop us from backing up to it and still getting some pretty good pictures. And some random guy doing a burnout. That's not a race car. Sometimes you just gotta do it for the gram.
now it's after midnight. We spent the rest of the day kind of screwing off and hanging out with the guys. We went to dinner. We went to the third checkpoint, but it was another one of those super packed, you know, just hard to even get into the damn place. And pull up to the hotel, the only hotel available, and it looks like some guys are still out here working. What's going on, man? Changing fuel pumps. Changing fuel pumps? You need anything? No, we just started, so. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think, I think we have the pump. I think we have everything. So, well, if you need any line and fittings, that blue piece of shit C10. Yeah. There's line behind the seat and there's fittings in the bed. Help yourself to whatever you need. Okay, awesome. Hey there. So, I appreciate how you doing? That. Yeah. Oh, we're just idiots. <laughs> I mean, we all are. We're doing this, right? So yeah. the car has been running out of fuel on the drag strip. It takes the drive fine, and we've replaced the fuel filter. We've checked everything. Right. As far as we can guess, there's something wrong with the the tube from the pump to where it runs to the fuel line okay there's a hole or something something so it's aerating the fuel once the fuel sloshes gotcha it's really dumb but we're gonna that drop means. the tank and find out because we want to spray the thing with nitrous tomorrow Damn, you right. can't have it go lean no that's not gonna work blow things up so yeah. we've been running 12s all week even though it should run 11s yeah it's just it falls on its face on the drag strip because right. it runs out of fuel so we're gonna fix it and then spray it and see if we can run a 10 after running 12s all week. But you made it, tomorrow's Friday, it's the last day. Yeah, so I mean, we're here it, regardless. Right, you made it all the way through the week, which in <laughs> itself is a challenge. Because if you look at the list lately, have you seen it? It's yeah. bad this year. It, yeah. Really bad. Yeah. And honestly, this car, all I've done is change the plugs. And the first thing, <laughs> I haven't changed the plugs in 40,000 miles. The <laughs> yeah. been built, I built it in 2019. I haven't changed the plugs in 40,000 miles. I hadn't changed the fuel filter in 40,000 miles. I thought that was probably the problem. Yeah. Changed it, not the problem. So yeah. it's just something weird in the tank. Yeah, something in the pump. The thing's been stupid reliable. Oh, yeah. I've helped so many people this week because my car has been reliable. Right. Like, You've been It's a freaking trash panda. <laughs> they oh. follow me around. I slept one night in front of a dumpster and there was four of them eating out of the dumpster and it was really entertaining. <laughs> I watched them out my windshield and it was great. He's probably your truck. Probably. <laughs> so because so it's funny, I own a shipbox company called Shipbox Supply. And <laughs> Look, it's on our right for it. Yeah. Oh look, so there's it's, a yeah, raccoon it's, on your <laughs> It's in our logo. Your mascot. He yes. showed up. He's ready that, for the that, last that's day. That's just a little shit. Don't worry about him. That's a little shit. <laughs> that's really funny. So, but no, like I was telling him, and the if you op go behind the seat, there's okay. all kinds of line, and then awesome. in the bed, there's little totes that say 6 a.m., wow. 8 a.m., 10 a.m. Whatever you guys need, if you need it, go that's grab it. That's much too organized for how the the steering pump sounds on that truck. So, well, I <laughs> I bought it for 1,500 bucks. Yes. And then decided. I wanted to go to sick week, so let's take that because it will at least make good content and it'll yeah. be an adventure. We could take a Tahoe, but what fun would that be? So what's really funny is I built a service truck this summer out of an 82 C20. Right. And my favorite part was when I fired it up with the LS, I didn't have a steering pump squeak anymore. Yeah. I did uh, two months worth of work. <laughs> and the most thing, I, I was so excited to not have that squeal when I yeah. turned the wheel because I, I hated it so much. And the funny part is all it is is just low on fluid. <laughs> 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 like, it's Perfect. just leaking a little bit. And I've been like, I've been burnt out. This this, this yeah, week is dude. a lot more than I thought. I've it slept would be. maybe ten hours this whole week. Yeah, and not because the car, but because I've been helping other people, taking pictures, writing stories, right. editing yeah. videos, exactly. Hanging up till out every with people. every night till two, three, four a.m. trying to get the video out the yeah. next day. Even if your like, car is perfect, if you come to this event, you're gonna struggle. Oh yeah, and it's just like it wears on you as you go on. You think like, oh, unloading the trailer or changing the wheels and tires in the car, that's easy. Yeah. But you do it a million times in one week. In and, the heat of the day. Oh, it, it, it kills you. Yeah. It's worth it, don't get me wrong. Oh, absolutely. But we're all idiots. Yeah. And so we enjoy punishment, apparently. But we're gonna get the fuel tank out of this thing. Hell yeah. Find well, what's wrong with it, and then hook up a nitrous kit in the morning. I'm not gonna BS you. Uh, I'm gonna go put this in the video and go the hell to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are welcome to anything you want in that truck. It is all yours, it's unlocked. Fair enough, so. If you can get it started, you could have it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the C20. Is it a C20? It's a 10. Oh, okay. Well, still, yeah, still five lug deal. Down. Yeah, long bed, but still. All right, good luck, guys. Thank you. Yep. All right, so that's going to be it for day four. Tomorrow, we're going to get up with the guys from Sally's. Hopefully, they will have fixed this fuel problem, and they're going to install nitrous and see if they can make the El Camino go a little bit faster. So looking forward to that, but for now, we got to get some sleep. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.